Today I want to talk about the chip shortage and how that is an artificial dampening of the economy and production. Now, they all are telling us that the automakers can't make cars because they don't have chips. Equipment manufacturers can't make tractors, construction equipment because they don't have chips. And you can't make tools because you don't have chips. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been on the earth for quite a while. And when I was young, and even when I wasn't young, we didn't have chips in automobiles. Right now, Ford Motor Company could go back in their old files, and they could pull out the plans, specifications, equipment lists for the 1973 Ford F-150. They could also pull out the plans for a 1973 Ford sedan. And in six months, they could be producing those vehicles which do not use chips. And you have a choice of whether to use points and condenser for ignition or electronic ignition in that era of vehicle. So if we can't get enough chips in solid state to have electronic ignition, we can make points and condenser again. Now, everybody seems to forget that vehicles in 1973, tractors in 1973, they all worked fine. Aircraft built in 1973 worked fine. Construction equipment worked fine. The government can waive all the crap regulations they have. And industry can go back to making vehicles that are priced in the ten dollars to $15,000 range that people can actually afford to buy. So we could very easily go ahead and start manufacturing 1973 year vehicles, tractors and equipment today. Now, if you think that's not possible, Brazil bought the tooling for the 1957 Chevy from Chevrolet and they produced those automobiles for years. So it's very possible. You could also export those vehicles all around the world and you can build those vehicles and that equipment with basic machine tools. You don't need CNC. You don't need microelectronic processors on equipment. You can make it with regular metal lathes, milling machines, and 100 ton stamping presses. Please share your thoughts. We'll see you on the next video.